All right, everyone, welcome back to the NHL 2004 Franchise Mode series. And if you're looking at the video and you've seen any of the previous ones, you're probably wondering why I'm in the left corner as opposed to the right corner, uh, which probably was just flipped the way I did that. Probably doesn't look too different behind me here, uh, but I kind of switched my setup a little bit. Um, I don't know, just changed it up. The Carolina flag behind me was actually hanging over a door or I guess like in front of the door. So I kind of wanted to change that up so I don't have to keep adjusting it. Yeah, I think just a more permanent setup. We don't, I don't have everything, you know, set up behind me here. I'm going to put up jerseys and playoff towels and all that kind of stuff. Um, at some point, plus I have a couple of Canes jerseys that if I'm not wearing will be uh, featured. I actually have a brand new alternate for the Canes. So I got this, like, I guess I'll hold it up this way. I got this about a couple weeks ago, I guess, now. And, uh, we got the old Svechnikov on the back, which might, no, it actually looks perfect good. Um, yeah, I got that a couple weeks ago. So I've now got three jerseys. Um, the Terra Vinen one, which I've worn in all my After the Storm game review videos. Um, and then there's another home one that uh, is just blank that I'm waiting to get a name on it. Probably will end up being Aho, but um, with COVID and everything going on with that, it's kind of difficult to go get uh, some lettering and uh, name stitching and all that kind of stuff uh, put onto a jersey. But anyways, let's get ourselves back to what we're actually here for in this video, and that is the NHL 2004 Franchise Mode series. I don't even know what episode we're on. Let me check. So we're already on episode 24. Um, we're past the midway point of the season. Um, the last episode, episode 23. So we came off this little stretch here uh, where we had the nice, the big win against Pittsburgh. We came again, uh, got the win against Buffalo, the 4-2 and 5 nothing wins against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, and then a 4-3 tough loss against the Montreal Canadiens. One last note on the setup, you'll notice that I'm on the left side now. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's literally just so on the videos, when I'm looking in the direction, it actually is the direction of where the game is showing you guys, because I wouldn't want to do it the same way and me looking literally off the screen the entire time. Uh, but this this just looks a lot better when I'm actually, you know, looking towards the action. I don't think you guys are getting anything cut off. Um... Pretty much we'll wait and see on that uh, for when I go take a look at stats or when I'm in the game. But I'm pretty sure everything is pretty good. Um, it should make a difference, especially gameplay-wise, for me being on the bottom left as opposed to the bottom right. This episode, episode number 24, is going to feature games against the our uh, division kind of rivals. I think they're probably the worst in our division, maybe. Maybe the Islanders are worse right now, uh, the Rangers, and then we're going to have another game against the uh, Buffalo Sabres, who are going to start becoming a uh, kind of a common fixture for us moving forward. Before we get into the games, though, let's, of course, go ahead and preview both teams. So first off, Buffalo, um, I most likely did preview these guys in both teams, I should say, uh, in the last episode, but I wanted to go over it again. Because uh, I don't think I've recorded since Thursday, maybe last week, but it's all been a blur to me. So Buffalo, 22, 15, 3, and 8. Uh, 8 overtime losses. About Boston has 9 as well. Some teams really up there with those. But at this point in time, there's no loser point. So these are all just 0 points for these uh, these teams. 55 points, 121 goals, 4 is probably one of the better uh, around the league, Detroit 136, Dallas 139. Some teams are killing it right now. And uh, taking a look at their last 10, Buffalo struggling. 2-6-2 uh, two, and two in their last 10. The Rangers sitting in 19th in the league. 47 games played, 19-18, 5 and 5. 48 points on the year, 121 goals and 127 against. They were a real bad team at home, and I'm pretty sure that's where we're playing them. We're going to uh, Madison Square Garden to play them. They're a much better road team, and in their last 10, they are just kind of 500, 4-4, four, four, and 2. That'll do it for the previews, guys. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. I don't think there's anything really to do 
uh, with the goaltending or anything. I might just check that really quickly before I head into the game. But otherwise, uh, yeah, we're going to jump right in and play against our uh, division rival, New York Rangers. All right, so we're in Madison Square Garden against the Rangers. Ooh, Pronger right there. Mike Dunham, no Mike Richter, eh? Was, no, Dunham is their starter. I guess maybe did Richter retire? I have no idea. Oh. Couple chances there right off the start. So this is kind of the fun time. Oh, Burry, nice chance. Um, the fun time for the Rangers where they spent way too much money and they didn't win anything. Oh, that one almost got through too. So yeah, this is pretty much where they were. They spent a ton of money. Here's Kovalev. He's on the hot streak. and then... So also, you guys will notice if you're uh, looking in the net or if you've seen... Oh my god, Ragnarsson. What are you doing, man? Um, uh, Leclerc into the net uh, for this one. Podvan is fatigued after the two Toronto games. And I'm not sure if he played the Montreal game or not. But, but uh, yeah, so Leclerc in... As we're going to be flipping through goalies pretty steadily for the rest of the year. Oh, Kappen, and that almost dropped in. That's going to be an icing. And, of course, I overskated. Oh, what a save. The cleric bailed me out so much there. Oh. <laughs> Recky gives it right back to him. Oh, Amante. Oh, good stop by Leclerc. Oh, Gagne. Good shot. Oh, good chance right at the end of the period there. That ends the first, a pretty even period uh, on both sides. 8-8 eight, eight the shots. Um, pretty wide open too. Like we didn't have any whistles or anything like that. No penalties, no, not a whole lot of icings. Actually, I blew the icing call with McInnes and uh, Leclerc made that crazy good save in that period too. My god, it's always so fascinating to look at this Rangers team. Oh, offside. Because they had so many people, like... Lindros, I... Like, Yager's not even too far away from being on this team either. Where they just kept spending money and money and money. Oh, Francis, nice chance. But yeah, they spent a ton of money, and... I'm not even sure if they ever even made the playoffs. Oh, Lume in there. Nice stick there by Pronger. Oh, what a great pass. Oh, scores. Yes. That's a big play from Pronger there. That's, uh, man, I'm really glad I made that St. Louis trade. Like the, I guess the, the two parter, but it worked out. But what a play from Pronger. He gets that poke. Gets the poke and the outlet pass. It's just, man. Oh, good stops by Leclerc. Oh, Monte in. Oh, good poke check by Dunham on that one. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, Recky. Oh, Brandon Moore with the grinder goal. Love that one. Nice. 2 nothing lead. Go cap. Oh. So the end of the second there. A really good period for us. We had the the nice play from Pronger. The back check with the uh, the nice poke. Turned it over in a great pass to uh, Recky for his goal. And then Brandon Moore gets the unassisted one off the rebound. That was a really good one too. It just a uh, nice little grinder goal, especially for Brandon Moore. It's kind of been like... Hasn't been as good as we are hoping for, but he's uh, he's been solid so far. Third period, sometimes, especially when we dominate the second period, I find we always lose the third. And uh, hopefully we don't here, because this is a Rangers team that is just not that great. Oh, there we go, a power play. That should help. No luck on the power play there. We actually really couldn't even get anything going. Oh, Malikov. It's his first, the defenseman pinching up in the rush there. 
See, I always say whenever we win those second periods, we always end up losing the third a little bit. I don't really want to deal with the hero line of the Rangers, which is probably like Bure, Lindros, oh boy. And Kovalev there. So, gonna want to avoid that with a one goal lead, but. Oh, nice. Oh, a Purent in there. Alright, final minute. Gonna survive the onslaught of this hero line, I'm sure. Go Ragnarsson. Oh. There we go. From an impossible angle, too. That's Ragnarsson's first only? Wow. So that'll do it. Ragnarsson with the 3 1 goal, the dagger. So that'll do it. A 3 1 win against the New York Rangers to help us here in our own division. The Brendan Moore goal proves to be the game winner. So Leclerc gets the first star. He stopped 24 25. He had a real good game. Uh, Dunham, of course, on the other end had a good one as well. And Ragnarsson with the empty netter. Probably would have gave that one to Brendan Moore considering he had the game winner, but whatever. So I don't think there's really anything to look at in between these games here. I think Buffalo's last game was against Boston of anything to really look at. So I think we're just going to jump right on into the game. All right. So we're here against the Buffalo Sabres. So I think this is our third matchup of the season with. Pretty sure it's the third because I think we've played them at in Buffalo once. And this is the second time we're playing them in, uh, in Philadelphia. Got the 3D jerseys on for this one as well. Oh, nice start. I left Leclerc in the net for this one as well, so he had a really good game against uh, the Rangers and haven't really made any changes with that. Trying to get... Potvan seems to be getting uh, fatigued after, like, every game he plays right now, so I think we're just going to kind of let him rest up a little bit more. Oh, off the post twice. Oh, oh came out of the zone with it. That record's looking a whole lot better than it was, man, like, <laughs> like the beginning of this. Oh, it's a penalty. Yerky. All right, so killed the penalty off, which is good. Oh. Oh, trying to get that over to Lumi. Oh, Lume, nice chance. First period comes to an end. Pretty much dominated all by Buffalo there. They had the power play, ton of chances. They hit like three posts in the period too. Oh, Reggie. Nice chance. Oh. There we go. That's why we got Al McKinnis right there. Been waiting for that slap shot to work. So we strike first after a lot of domination. Oh, oh, geez, the hit on Afinaganov probably saved a goal there too. Pretty much Buffalo's been dominating the game so far. We would get that all-important first goal. Oh, Kapanen off the post. Oh, Kapanen wide. Oh, there we go. Brandon Moore again. Okay. He's been uh, he's been pretty great over the last little stretch, actually. I kind of talked some smack last, uh, last game. But uh, he's been perfect, man. He's just perfectly where you want him, grinding away goals. 14 now. I don't think he... I think he had, like, six when he got over here from Carolina, so... Ooh. So now we got a... Oh. The power play right toward the end of the period here. As uh, Buffalo is a little bit scrambling. Oh, Monte. Could have got a tip on that one or something. That would have been nice. But yeah, further in the same spot we were against the Rangers. A 2-0 lead heading into the third. Um... And honestly, I think we've been outplayed pretty much the whole game. So uh, this is one where we're kind of just grinding it out. Oh, man. Kachuk in there getting lots of chances. Oh. 
all over them right now. Oh, nice stop by Buran. Oh, there we go. Connolly there. Gets one back. What do we got? 8.15 left in the third. Hero line for the Sabres is probably going to be one of the better ones that we face around the league. Brewery. Uh, Brewery. Drury, Briere, Finneganov right there. Chatan. Great save by Leclerc there. Oh, what? Oh, that's a weak one. Claire just reacted poorly to that one. Oh! No, give and go play by Ronick and. Ronick, or Ronick and Pronger on that one, but man, that was close. That would have been nice. Oh, Recky there too, off the draw. So we end up with OT, a couple late goals, unfortunately. Especially the, the Curtis Brown one was not ideal. And something that cost us the game in OT, I think against the Habs in the last episode. Um, not starting the hero line. The Sabres have not started their hero line, so. Oh, McKinnis. Oh, McKinnis. Oh. Al McKinnis looking for all the goals in this one. There's McKinnis again. Oh, good stop. Still with it. Oh, God, the change is on. Oh. Kachuk. Oh, good stop by Biron. Oh, good stop by Leclerc. Oh, good block. So that'll do it. That's going to be a tie. Pretty back and forth OT period there, but uh, a tie nonetheless. We're going to come out with a point against a very good Buffalo Sabres team. Leclerc, the third star, 27 of 29 stopped. Biron, 33 of 35. And then Keith Kachuk, the first star with an assist in the game. So with the tie in that game, we've actually moved up to eighth in the league. We're sitting at 57 points, tied with Anaheim uh, and Buffalo, of course, who we just played. So both of us came out with a point, uh, both sitting at still 57 points, which is still considerably low, about 17 points below the... I guess 16 points below the league-leading Dallas Stars. So kind of firmly in our third spot in the Eastern Conference. I, again, I'm doubting we're going to be touching Tampa or Boston the whole way through this. But looking at our division, we are now eight points clear of Pittsburgh, New York, and the Devils, uh, who are all tied for second place in the division right now. Uh, so that's good. We've really pulled away from those uh, teams and we're not fighting for, you know, being third in the conference or completely out of the playoffs. So next episode is going to feature games against the Washington Capitals, who are one of the league's top teams. And the Florida Panthers, um, who I'm pretty sure are just kind of like mid-pack. Uh, like maybe like a fringe playoff team at this point. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and preview both of them right now. So Washington fifth in the league. Um, 60 points. They actually have three more points than we do. I believe they're probably lower in the standings, actually, than us. Florida down here at 22nd overall in the league, 17, 18, 8, and 7, 49 points. Uh, very bad home team, a better road team for sure, uh, but definitely struggling in their last 10, 2, 6, and 2. The 25th episode is going to feature uh, games against the Caps and the Panthers, so that'll be next episode. Um, but for now, um, I don't think there's anything really else to go off of. Uh, We'll probably look to get uh, Podvin back in the net for one of the two games, most likely the Washington game. I think I'll uh, put Leclerc back in even for the Florida game just to really get uh, Podvin some rest. 
But otherwise, yeah, we're uh, moving right along, guys. And that's going to do it for this episode. So uh, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Lots coming to the channel very soon, very, very soon. Today is the draft. That's when I am uh, recording this. This is October 6th uh, when this episode's recording. So everybody will know what their team has done at the draft and all the trades and all that sort of stuff um, here by the end of the night. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next episode, number 25 against the Caps in the Panthers.